Here's how you can extend your display on your iPad to an external monitor with Stage Manager in iPad OS 16. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you have not done so already, I implore you to please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. In this video, if you couldn't tell, is fairly iPad specific. I have iPadOS 16 installed on my latest M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And I'm gonna walk you through how you can finally use an external display and extend your display, two different things on two different displays, at the same time with iPadOS 16 and a new feature called Stage Manager. All this is very exciting, so I cannot wait to dive into it in more detail. As I mentioned, this is my latest generation M1 enabled 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which is the fifth generation of that device. These features will also work on the third generation 11 inch iPad Pro, also the M1 processor, and the M1 enabled fifth generation iPad Air. So if you have any of those three iPads, you should be able to use center stage and these other great features. The other device that I'm using to show this off is Apple's new studio display. This will work with other displays though. Basically, it just needs to be able to connect to your iPad over USB-C or Thunderbolt. As long as you can do that, your display should work. I really like the studio display, so that's what I'm gonna be testing it out on. One of the first things to show is once I've gotten them connected, you can see it's already extending my display rather than mirroring it. Before iPadOS 16, I basically see a clone copy of what's on my iPad screen here up on the monitor. Unless I had gone into specific applications that use the extra monitor as a viewer, things like video editors and iMovie, or even working in large documents. This external display would usually be a viewer, but wouldn't allow any interaction. So here you can see I already have different displays, including a dock up here, just like Mac OS. It's really crazy. And if I'm using my cursor, uh, using the trackpad, I can move the cursor from here and I push up and boom, there I am. I'm using a cursor it is very small, so I apologize. But right there, that's the cursor. It's moving between my two displays and I can use them interchangeably. If I could interrupt myself for just a moment, I need to thank our sponsor for this video, Terabox. Do you need cloud storage? You probably do. Almost everyone can use more cloud storage and Terabox gives you an entire 1,024 gigs of free storage you know, a terabyte, just for downloading the app. You can even automatically upload and backup your videos from your camera roll. Additionally, you can share any of this content with your friends, family, and coworkers. Once uploaded, you no longer have to rely on local storage for all of your files. And there's even this handy space analyzer that'll analyze your photos and videos and remove any duplicates, saving you even more space of that free cloud storage. Do you ever have issues with your phone being slow, running out of storage, stuff freezing, or you have a small capacity iPhone that can't hold all your photos or videos? Or maybe you constantly have iCloud backups fail because you don't have enough room for all your photos and videos, or your phone is taken up predominantly by photos and videos let me introduce you to Terabox. So stop wasting so much money on cloud storage and give Terabox a try. It's a free download now on the iPhone and Android. You can go ahead and get a link for it down below in the description. Thank you again to Terabox for sponsoring this video. So here I am in Photos. It's a full screen application. Nothing is currently on the external monitor, just background. But if I go into Control Center, there's a new icon there at the bottom. This is what's going to allow me to turn on Stage Manager. So if I tap on that, so here I am inside of Stage Manager. I can see my large app right here in the center as well as additional apps there down the left-hand side that I've been recently been using. Anytime I can open anything with Spotlight or open it up from the dock. But if I wanna choose anything I'd like from the lifts, boom, just jump between them like that. Very easy to do. And all of these can be resized. So I can just go ahead and grab the corner and make it bigger, smaller, taller, whatever it needs to be. I can put that one like that, open uh, notes, pull these out at the same time, and now I have a windowed interface that I can jump between multiple applications at the same time, all overlapping one another, 
bring the home app in here as well. That's a little big. Let's resize it, make it a little bit smaller. Use these all at the same time. Move them around much more of a desktop like experience here on the iPad, but let's go ahead and extend it now to the external display. I can move around freely between the two. So I'm working over here on my iPad, jump between my applications, nice. I can move up to my uh, desktop experience, jump between apps over here, go over to music, go down to the redesigned home app as part of iPad OS 16 and iOS 16. All super nice to use an external display with an external keyboard and mouse. You can also move freely between these two different interfaces. So if I have something like notes or a Word document here on my external display and I've got my photo library here on my iPad's display, I can come find a photo I want, like this one of me and my wife, and I can drag it up here and drop it right into this notes document, easily dragging and dropping between multiple interfaces. And boom, there you go. It's gone ahead and exported that photo and inserted it here into my note document on my external display. By going into settings and then down to display and brightness, I can make some adjustments to these as well. So I have my built-in display here, new features for reference mode. Um, but if we go back, I can see the external display that I have connected, which in this case is the studio display. Here I have all the automatic settings, auto brightness enabled, display zoom, so if I want more space, less space, all of that. And going back, I can adjust the arrangement. So right now my iPad is sitting below the display, but I could position it to the left, above, or to the right as well. Of course, if I want to go back to the old way of doing things, there is a toggle to enable mirroring of the display right below. It may have taken Apple a little while to get here, but it seems like it's finally ready to unlock full extended external display support for iPad with the launch of iPad OS 16 and Stage Manager. Let me know what you guys all think of Apple's new windowed experience on iPadOS, as well as the ability to use an actual external monitor instead of just mirroring to it. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos heading your way.